I've got here a couple of little bikes that are primo for getting your kids into riding a bike from a really early age, okay? This particular bike here, all three of my kids rode this bike. They all ride a bike really good and I do a fair bit of coaching, that sort of thing. I would have to say this has been the best invention ever for getting kids out on bikes at an early age. Okay, so what a lot of this does is they just walk along next to it with their feet on the ground. When they get to a, a little bit more um, developed stage, they can then put their feet on the little bars at the back and coast down hills, or they can you know, take three or four uh, steps and then put their feet on. So they're developing their balance. This is one of the, I guess, key attributes to being able to ride a bike well, is developing balance, because that's what it's all about, okay? So then, like a lot of parents would then go from a bike like this to a bike like this for their kids, okay, to ride. Now, here at the shop, what I would suggest doing, now I know a lot of bikes come with training wheels. Um, I'm not a real great fan of training wheels, especially um, if you want your child to progress quite quickly, okay? So, what I find the best thing to do is, because your kid's gone from a little balance bike to something like this, so first thing you do is take off the training wheels. So they're on exactly the same thing they were on before. Then take the pedals off, okay? So then the child only has to focus on a couple of things at, time, at a time. You know, they've only got to transition from this little bike, you know, with no brakes, to just like holding up the weight of a little bit bigger bike. You know, obviously the seat's going to be down a bit more, that sort of thing. But they can, they can push the bike along because it's got no pedals exactly the same way as they would with their little balance bike. They can learn to use the brakes and that sort of thing. So we're not bombarding them with information, okay? Then when they grasp that, they're feeling comfortable on the bike because that's what it's all about. Being comfortable, having fun, you know? This stuff does not work when you're pressuring them into doing it, okay? It's all about having fun. That's the key thing you've got to remember. Then just throw the pedals back on and uh, you know once they're comfortable with all that so then they've only got to learn that element of riding the bike okay which is primo now you might want to assist them with this just um, give them a little push a little bit of balance I've always found the best way to do this is just when I'm standing behind the rider is just to balance my hand on their back here and that uh, enables me to give the child a little bit of a push along um, but I'm not in t total control of the child, you see, because if you're doing too much for them, then they will, I guess, develop that safety net as such, you know. So, you know, you're there. If they're going to fall, you're going to be able to catch them, okay? All you need to do is just put your hand on the handlebar and that will always straighten the bike back out, you know. And you've got a good poised balance. Whereas I find from down here, is, is not so good for the adult a lot of the time you get a sore back quite often the seat's very low so your hands in proximity to the tire down there and you're walking along like this it's not very sustainable for somebody with my sort of uh, biking history to be able to keep that up for long you know so as I say if we're up here we're in a better position it's much more fun for parent and child